The kindly world of shiny Kitakami Pokemon. Spoiler warning for new Pokemon in the Teal Mask DLC. A lot of people thought Diplin would be green like the other Applin evolutions, but the gold color was a nice surprise. Plus, its signature move Syrup Bomb changes colors depending on if it's shiny or not. That's a really neat attention to detail. Poltergeist gets a green, you know, like matcha. And Sinistruck gets the same thing, but the rim of the cup changes this time too. But still, good luck getting the authentic one. Okie Doggy gets a really weird copper color. Maybe it's supposed to be like mud or something? Monkey Dory is slightly lighter now, looking gray. Fezendipity gets a fantastic indigo, working really well with a complimentary orange. And I think overall, Fezendipity is the best shiny of the loyal three, bar none. The only thing that changes about Ogre Pond is its face becoming green. Is this like a skincare routine? But it really doesn't stand out with its standard mask. I do think though the shiny looks really good with the fire mask. Now, Ursaluna's standard shiny is based around a Blood Moon already. So when they brought out Blood Moon Ursaluna, they of course made its shiny also a Blood Moon. That's like Blood Moon squared right there. No wait, cubed. 